Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams, and I'm going to show you in this quick video how to create a box plot using Minitab. So what you'll see is that I have I have entered my data into a single column, right? and it happens to be the number of days that a customer took to pay an invoice, and I have 30 observations. Um, remember in Minitab, one variable per column will get it done. Um, I'm going to come up to this graph menu, and I'm coming down, and I'm going to select box plot. And so bot, Minitab gives me a bunch of choices. I can do multiple variables. I can do um, them with groups, but we're just going to do the simplest uh, box plot of data in a single column. And so I click OK. Minitab gives me my um, dialog box. And so I know that I want to create a box plot of the variable name days. And I'm simply going to hit select. And once I've selected it, I have some options in terms of multiple graphs, the data view, labels. But let's just do the easiest, most straightforward one today. And so I'm going to hit OK. Minitab is going to think for a second and then it's going to create this box plot for me. Let me get this so you guys can see it. So the first thing that you notice is this outlier symbol. And what Minitab says is that the data value that appears in row 30, where days is equal to 82, is an outlier. And what Minitab does is as soon as it identifies the outlier, it removes it from the data. So when we come down here into our box and we click, what we'll see is that <clears throat> Minitab gives us the five number summary plus our whiskers plus our IQR. So we knew that Q1, 33.25, the median was 39.5, Q3 or the third quartile, 50.25, that IQR, which is the width, right, or in this case, the height of our box is 17. And now you'll see that our whiskers, which is smallest and largest data value, runs from 13 to 67. It used to run to 82, but 82 was an outlier, so Minitab removed it. And of course, it always tells you how many observations were used to construct the box plot. And in this case, it was 30. So you can take this box plot and you can save it um, and import it into another document. But honestly, if you need to create a box plot to look for outliers quickly, Minitab is the way to go. I hope you have a great day.